Hello, I'm Dr. Karthikeyan. Welcome to Energy Healthcare Channel. Today, I'm going to talk about an important piece of equipment called pulse oximeter, which is being increasingly used in patients with coronavirus infection. So this pulse oximeter is a very simple device to measure the amount of oxygen in someone's blood without actually doing a blood test and also indicates the heart rate of an individual. So why is measuring the oxygen level is important. So studies have shown that in patients with coronavirus infection, they tend to have low amounts of oxygen for a few hours before they start exhibiting severe symptoms. So picking up a patient with coronavirus infection at this stage, so that is at the stage of low oxygen level is important so that we can identify and treat the infection at a early stage before they start exhibiting severe symptoms. So this is a very simple device which uh, uh, is uh, handy. It, it has got uh, a small screen here at the front which shows the oxygen levels and the heart rate. It works on uh, uh, two batteries, two AAA batteries at the back. So I'm going to switch on the pulse oximeter. So uh, I'm going to insert my finger and uh, check my heart rate and my saturation levels. The saturation indicates the amount of oxygen in my blood. So you can see as soon as I insert, there is a, a, a wave form which runs across the bottom of the screen. And within a few seconds, my oxygen levels are indicated as 98% and my heart rate is indicated as 68. So, so this device is very simple to use and gives results within a few seconds. So how does this device work? So you just need to understand that uh, there is a special red light which you can see inside the device. Uh, so this red light measures the amount of oxygen levels and the heart rate in my uh, body. Uh, and this device gets switched off once you remove your finger. So there is no loss of battery as well. So what is the normal oxygen levels uh, for, for some, somebody of my age? Uh, so uh, um, any saturation level above 95% is uh, normal for an individual. So anything below 95% is not normal and that individual has to approach a health professional to make sure and get their body checked out. So I'm just going to explain some of the limitations of using this uh, device. Uh, some of the uh, uh, patients whom I see, they, they tend to uh, have nail polish or henna or megandhi uh, stains on their fingers. Uh, so the, the, the red light which I showed you before, it doesn't penetrate the... Uh, nail polish or the uh, henna staining and may not show a very accurate result so make sure you don't avo you avoid using nail polish or henna stain before using this device the uh, second limitation is uh, if uh, you keep constantly moving your fingers at the time of measuring uh, then the uh, accuracy of the measurement is lost so make sure your fingers are still for a few seconds uh, to uh, get accurate values uh, the third limitation is uh, because this works on a principle of uh, uh, a special light emitted by this device, do not use this device underneath a, a bright source of light because that can interfere with the uh, measurement. So just use it uh, in a normal room under optimum light conditions. So, uh, do not use it under bright light. Uh, then the fourth thing you need to remember is uh, the th this is this device is uh, uh, useful for uh, most conditions, but in people with already existing conditions, uh, or if they are already in a hospital for something else. So make sure you inform your health professional so that they use more, better monitoring devices which can pick up even lower saturation levels or lower oxygen levels. So how to clean this device? Obviously, if you are using this device in between uh, your family members, so you need to clean the device between each family member. So the cleaning is very simple. So all you have to do is use the sanitizer which you use at home take it in a piece of cloth or in a tissue paper, wipe the external surface with the sanitizer. So make sure you open the device like this and clean the inner parts as well, inner areas as well, where you insert your finger. So in this way, infections cannot be transmitted from one person to another person. Uh, so um, this device is a very simple device and uh, it picks up the complications of coronavirus infection nearly. This doesn't tell you whether this you have a coronavirus infection or not, but at least it will help you to identify the 
person's deterioration from coronavirus infection now. So if you find this uh, video useful, please like it and share it with your friends and family. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit on the bell notification to get more videos like this. Huh? Thank you so much. Huh?